Type conversions means converting from one data type to another. For example, if you read a number from user input in your program, it's read as a string and you may want to convert it to an integer or floating point in order to use it in a calculation later. An implicit conversion is a type conversion that the interpreter does automatically for you. This typically happens between numeric types. For example, if you were to add integer 5 plus integer 3, it'll return an integer 8. But if you added integer 5 plus floating point value 3.0, it would return a floating point value as a result of 8.0 rather than an integer value 8. There are some useful conversion functions that you can also use. There's int, which converts in a value to an integer, assuming that the value, like such as a string, could be converted to an integer, like if you had a string 25. If you had a string um, hello, you can't convert that to an integer. There's the float function, which converts a, a value to a floating point. And similarly, if you had a string such as 3.14, that could be converted to a float. But if you had a string like hello, you can't convert that to a float. And there's the str function, which converts a value to a string. And so if you had a number like 25, you can convert that to the string version of it if you needed to. And these functions are definitely useful because if you're reading values from the keyboard, it's all being read into your program as strings and you may want to convert it to the right data type in order to do some kind of like arithmetic on it. You know, let's try an example of that right now and see how that works. All right, let's write a program to ask the user to type two numbers. Print enter num1 and we'll get num1 to be read from input and then print enter num2. Num2 is going to also be read from input. And we can create a variable called sum and assign that to num1 plus num2 and then print out sum. Let's see what we get without doing any kind of type conversion. So 5 plus 6 should give you 11, not 56. So you can, so what it's doing is just gluing the 5 and 6 together to create 56 because it's still a string. Num1 and num2's data types are strings. So to, we need to convert them. So what we could do is create, let's just call it num x and set that to int of num1. And we'll create num y and set that to int of num2. Then we'll add num x and num y, then print the sum. Let's see, 4 plus 5 gives you the sum of 9, not 45 like it would have before. So this int function is converting that string to an integer so that we could do some basic calculations on there, like adding them together and printing out and getting the correct output on our screen and not getting some kind of logical error like. 45 instead of the value for 9. So that's some basic type conversion. And we could do the same thing where if we were to type in floating point numbers, we can type change these ints to float. That's all you got to do. And then if we type in 4.2 or 4.5 plus 3.2, it'll add them up correctly because we converted them to float, not to int.